All right, guys, Project 250R is officially underway, but I wanted to take a step aside and do one of these small portions on the project in its own separate video. This is the master cylinder for the project, and um, this is the M309R. If you aren't following the series, we are building a motocross 250R. We've done a lot of custom stuff. If you haven't seen, this is the original um, front master cylinder on the quad, and we have completely restored this thing to look like brand new. And if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. So when I did pull this thing apart, I decided I wanted to do a rebuild kit. And I didn't have the pieces. So I ordered the pieces. And the main thing that I want to show you in this video that makes this video so special is that we're going to be replacing this inspection window. So this part right here is the special part. So I couldn't really find any good videos showing how people remove and install those or really any information on it at all you know i know they're out there if you type in i think it's called an 18 millimeter inspection window or um you know master cylinder window they're like two dollars and fifty cents to five dollars a piece they're really cheap and they're very easy to replace too so it's really common that these things become foggy they get spider cracks in them if they're glass they get straight up cracked so even if we restored this front master cylinder if we had left the original inspection window in there it just would not look good so as you can see, using a screwdriver and a bolt, we were easily able to remove the old inspection window. That part of the process was definitely no problem at all. So let's go ahead here. And before we even start building this master cylinder, let's do that inspection window first thing. So what you have is a small O-ring that's going to go in the master cylinder. And then the inspection window itself. This one is plastic. You can get them in glass though. And this will press in place by using, this is a half inch socket. It fits on there pretty much perfectly. I'm gonna use the vise to just very gently press this into place. You could tap it, I guess. Um, I don't know that I'd recommend that. You might mess up your window, like, but you know, if you don't have access to a vise, you might be able to get away with tapping or possibly using a C-clamp. Okay guys, so we're over at the vise and just to make sure that we don't mark up the backside of our master cylinder, I'm gonna put a towel over the vise. Now we're not really gonna be applying too much pressure here, so Really, uh, chances are nothing's gonna get damaged, but we'll set this in here. I'm gonna make sure it's on a nice flat spot, and then we should be able to compress that window right in. Now, before we do that, I'm gonna take the O-ring, put a small amount of dielectric grease on there. You could use Vaseline too. And I'm just gonna put that in place. Now, when I went to mock this up, I noticed that it doesn't fit. And if you notice in here, there's a little line. That's actually a spacer. If you look at the window, this metal ring, I believe that got left behind when I pressed out the window. So I'm gonna see if I can pry that out. I tried prying it out, you know, with a screwdriver and a pick, it's just not coming out. So I'm gonna have to very carefully with this Dremel, just kind of eat through one of the sides and that should break it free and then it'll come out. Kind of like removing, if you've ever had a bearing that the inner race breaks free and the outer race is stuck, sometimes you have to cut the race and then, uh, It'll pull right out. So there it is. Now we should be able to get that new window in there, no problem. All right, so now we'll put our O-ring in. It doesn't really have a groove anymore. Now that we pulled out that piece, it just sits right in there. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna to try to make these vents as even as possible. I want them to be straight up and down. All right, well that turned out really nice and it had a super snug fit. Uh, it took a little bit of finesse. So uh, my best recommendation if you do decide to do this is to take your time and not force it. It didn't wanna go in perfectly straight so I was kinda of going back and forth and uh, pressing side to side. But we did get it all the way in and it's nice and flush now. So now this master cylinder looks like it's brand new. All right guys, so let's rebuild this thing. We have our new rebuild kit right here. And these are genuine Shindy products made in Japan. I didn't get like a cheapy kit. And I wanted to uh, hang on to the old one. Just wanted to show you guys what this thing looked like when I pulled it out. 
it was caked and crusty. You know, this 250R was in really good shape, but it definitely was in need of some servicing and the brakes really didn't work too well. Now I'll build this one. So there's two seals in here that you slide on. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. So the bigger one is going to go down to this level and the cup faces this way. I don't know if you can see, that's the way it goes, not this way. This hook definitely makes the job 10 times easier. All right, so now we'll put our spring on here. Just kind of presses in place. And of course you can always refer to your old one. Make sure you got it set up correctly. Now we have no use for this thing. All right, now this is gonna slide right into our cylinder. It's gonna go spring first. Before I do that, I'm gonna take a thin amount of brake fluid and just coat the inside. I don't wanna get brake fluid on the outside because we painted this. This isn't powder coated, so I'm gonna do the best I can not to get any uh, brake fluid on the outside because brake fluid is corrosive and it breaks down paint. And now we can push this into place. And it should have nice, easy moving action. Now this can be a little tricky. We've got a little snap ring that's gonna go into place. So you gotta compress that, compress your spring, and get your clip into place. You just wanna make sure it's seated all the way. And the last thing we have is this rubber boot. So I'm gonna take a little bit of dielectric. This just protects the rubber, helps it last a little bit longer, and it makes it easier to push into place. You have a lip up here that you want to make sure is seated on top of this boot. All right, now once you have that seated properly, we have a little rubber grommet that's going to go down here. So I'm going to put a little bit of brake fluid in there and then press this in place. Now we won't be filling this till it's on the quad. So we'll put our uh, boot in the top and this Trick NPM cover that's made custom for the M309R. This thing looks amazing. So we're just gonna put that in place for now. Now we have a master cylinder that's brand new looking and brand new functioning. All right guys, so that's all there is to replacing an inspection window on a master cylinder. Pretty much the same process is gonna to apply to any master cylinder, whether it's on a motorcycle, dirt bike, ATV, it just doesn't matter. As long as it's that style of inspection window, the process should work. So if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and definitely consider subscribing and make sure to check out Project 250R where we're going to be installing this brake lever and we're gonna be putting a bunch of other parts on. It's a badass build. Definitely check it out if you're into power sports or any kind of projects. And until the next video, I appreciate all you guys. Hope everybody's doing well and I will see you then. Peace.